Hi, this is Kimberly Knox with What's in the Stars for You This Week, where I guide and motivate you and helping to connect you with the current astrological energy and how to best utilize that in your daily life. Well, I can say I have been using it very effectively in my sales career for the last, over the last 16 years. And I'm going to share with you uh, some, you know, some of my own personal success tips that just happened today. So fun weekend. I hope you all had an amazing fun weekend. How could you not with the moon in Sagittarius where you want to get outside and be friendly and meet up with people and, you know, be active and, and athletic. The sun was also connecting with Neptune, bringing out an extra touch of glamour and romance and escape. And that's all so important to life to really enjoying uh, deep, meaningful things and taking a break and I know I have the Sag, I have a Sag moon and it's, um, it's very fun and um, definitely uh, really allows me to, to enjoy some of the greater things in life. But as of Monday, Monday morning, so the sun, the sun now in Pisces really helping us to connect with compassion and to connect with our vision and to be more intuitive, in tune with what's happening. But the moon now in the sign of Capricorn is all about big business. And those born under the sign of Capricorn, Capricorn rising or Capricorn moon, know that you know their, their thoughts and emotions are an accomplishment and, and taking action to, to get things done and accomplish and getting results, especially in business. And it is a great time to set up appointments or to, to have important meetings. People want to make action. People want to, want to uh, come together in business ways. So take advantage of that. So I've been wanting to meet up with this client for a long time and propose this whole program for, uh, for them, for their owners. And I just knew today was the right day. And I reached out. I got the appointment. There's actually a new guy there. And can you believe it? They were thinking about doing something that I was going to propose. So it's just the right timing. And I hit it right on the head. Uh, Jupiter squaring with Uranus in the sky. That's also giving this feeling of taking action. If you're not feeling that right now, then um, maybe you're just not in tune. But if you're feeling like this in this intense need to kind of do something today, that's, that's where the vibration's leading us. Jupiter's in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is about everything that's important to us from the heart, family, uh, our sense of emotional security. And that's super, super important when you're going forward in new ways to have that emotional sense of security. It makes you feel like you can do so much more with confidence. And that is a container of support that's going to continue to be strong in the sky to help guide us forward because we're also being pushed to transform our foundations like never before, break down everything that was known in the past and start new. And that's scary t at times. And Uranus is saying, go forward in new ways. If you're going to break down everything, then bring out from you what is authentic, what makes you who you are and bring that forward. And we have time. This is still going on through March of 2015. So but we have this this whole thing churning in the sky and every time the moon goes through a cardinal sign it kind of teams up with this energy and helps push us even more but um, the energy stays wonderful for the rest of the day so get out there accomplish 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 it ends the day really really nice and and warm with the with moon teaming up with with venus tomorrow's wednesday uh, the moon's going to be void until right before 10 o'clock, so don't set up anything important until after that. But the moon's going into the into Aquarius, which is very social, uh, very open, friendly, uh, inventive, detached. Uh, so it's really it's a it's a perfect moon to get out there and to to take care of the things that you've been setting up the last two days here. Work on what you started. It's a day of Mercury. Mercury is stationing getting ready to station to go direct on Friday. So there can be, just watch out for your communication because that's what Mercury rules. It can, you can ship things to the wrong places. You can get the address wrong. Your emails can go to the wrong people. They can get lost. Um, miscommunications, make sure that what you're saying is what you mean or helping people to understand. Uh, so this is a really nice moon placement and uh, Friday. Friday's just a great day of change, but as far as 
communication and travel goes, there might be some snafus in the morning because Mercury is actually squaring. Uh, I mean, Mercury is getting ready to go direct. So it is going to, there can be some slowdowns with traffic or some delays. Uh, weather can be a little quirky during Mercury retrograde time. Uh, but it's preparing us when it's definitely the green light to go forward with all of that will be Monday, especially on contracts or things that came up. We've been gathering all that information. So uh, Friday, the sun is also in a beautiful trine to Jupiter for the end of the day. And uh, the moon is going to be going into the sign of Pisces later in the day and teaming up with Neptune. So by the end of the day, it is just a warm, emotionally fulfilled day where all you need to do is go with the flow and come from loving gratitude toward everything that is beautiful in your life and that is so meaningful. And it just really fill your heart with that energy. Uh, Mars is also standing still. It's going to be standing still as of Friday. So we've got two planets kind of standing still in the sky. So don't take any direct action. Really kind of slow down. And you're going to need to regroup because when Mars goes retrograde, we're going to be dealing, and this is, it's going to be retrograde through May 19th. The center point will be April the 8th. A lot of stuff is going to come up. Regressed, we're going to, we're going to see where there's repressed aggression. Aggressors will come forward. Uh, we're going to be dealing with relationships and cooperation, not just um, not just regular relation, business relationships. Anything where where you need to have a balanced union, fair and balanced. Anything that is not balanced or not fair, it will come up for negotiation. So the winners, I will remind you, the winners, and I'll keep reminding you, is those that can have a planned strategy of diplomacy that wins. So any of those types that are super aggressive and like to come straight at you, it's going to backfire on them. And um, it's actually very interesting that Mars is going retrograde at the exact same degree that it met with Saturn on August the 15th, which I remember, it was my birthday, two years ago, 2012. So what have we learned since then in dealing uh, with the Libra area of our chart, which I would be able to tell you if we had a personal consultation, but, um, and everything that relates to uh, balanced relationships, business and personal, and gaining fair, uh, and, and how you can actually come forward and, and, and not always being, you know, where you can take a, a, where you can take action in ways that help you to get what you want in balanced ways, because sometimes it's about, you know, one person having more control over the other, and that's the Aries Libra access there. So, a lot is happening. I'm going to connect with you later in the week. A lot of exciting transition. We have a new moon coming on Saturday. You need to lay out your intentions for the new moon during the balsamic time, uh, during the dark of the moon. So that's start thinking about your new intentions for the Piscean time, Thursday and Friday. And, you know, uh, some of those things I had mentioned before about vision and what inspires you. We need to get re-inspired by our vision about what we want for the future. It's going to fuel our expectations. It's going to fuel our manifestation. It's going to fuel our action that we take toward gaining that. Because dreams without actions just remain dreams. And, and that's beautiful for Pisces to connect at that deep intuitive level. But we need to take action. And that action is coming. So we need to be grounded and what we vision for ourselves going forward and, and how that feels. There's so much water sign right now. We're going to be able to actually connect with that on the feeling level. Also, compassion coming from compassion, coming from kindness. Not being taken advantage of, I'm saying, but, the, but dealing with love and compassion on, it, on a daily basis and, and how you deal with others. And that does come back to you in great ways. So reach out to me if you would like to check out your own chart and see where this is, you know, coming up, and uh, where where the new moons affect you every month is is where new things are happening, where you can put uh, your energy to gain the most effective results every single month. It's just amazing. So reach out to me at Kimberly, uh, Kimberly Knox. That's KK at Kimberly Knox dot com, and I'm going to be happy, super happy to go over your chart with you and help launch you in, a, in an effective plan going forward. Have a wonderful Tuesday.